CIET NCERT presents audiobook Looking Around Textbook of Environmental Studies for Class 3 Page 1 Chapter 1 Poonam's Day Out Ma, please let me go to school today. I've been at home for the past two days. I'm getting bored, said Poonam. But you still have fever. Go outside and lie down on the cot, replied Ma. Poonam fell asleep on the cot. Suddenly, something fell on her face. Poonam woke up at once and touched her cheek. Oh no! Whose mischief is this? It is the crows or the pigeons? It seems it's the crows. On page number one, there is a beautiful picture of a tree where different animals are sitting on a tree branch. Can you recognize them by their voices? Which animal is this? 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 Note. Children learn a lot from people and things in their environment. Through this lesson, children should be given an opportunity to observe nature, not just sit in the class and read their lesson. Page 2. Poonam looked up. She saw many animals on the tree. Which animals can you spot on the tree in the picture? Write down their names. Poonam picked up a leaf from the ground and wiped her cheek with it. But her cheek was still sticky. She thought, Let me go and wash my face in the nearby pond. There is a picture on page number 2. In the picture, there is a small pond. There are also many animals in the picture. Poonam is seen going to the pond to wash her face. Recognize these animals through their voices. Which animal is this? 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 Note, in the book, the word animal is used for insects, birds, reptiles and mammals. At this age, children cannot classify animals into different categories. Try to find out what children understand by the word animal. Encourage children to collect more details of various animals. Page 3 Can you act like the animals seen at the pond? Which animal makes what kind of sounds and movements? Try to make similar sounds. Different animals move in different ways to go from one place to another. Some animals walk, some crawl, some fly and some swim. For this, some animals use their feet, some use their wings, some animals even take the help of their tail. 
you must have seen many animals too. Write which of them can fly, can crawl, can walk, can hop, have wings, have feet, have a tail. Animals live in different places. Some animals live in the trees. Some in water. Some live on land. Some live under the ground and some fly in the sky. Some animals even live in our houses. Note. Children love to look at the colors, shapes and movement of animals and listen to their sounds. They enjoy imitating them too. Looking at the diversity in the animal world and putting them under different groups is the beginning of classification. Page 4 There are some pictures given on this page. Color the animals that do not live in your house. The names of the animals given on this page are A horse a dog, a hen, cockroach, an eagle, a lizard, a rat, a cricket, a chameleon, a cat, an elephant, a fish, a duck. Now color the animals which do not live in your home. Page 5. Here are some incomplete pictures of animals. Complete them and write their names below. There are three incomplete pictures given on this page. One is of a dog. Second is of a fish. And third one is of a cockroach. Take a pencil and start completing the pictures and write their names. Who am I? Find my name in the crossword and put a circle around it. One example has been given. Question 1. Banana is what I love eating. I spend my time jumping and leaping. The answer to this question is monkey. A circle has been put around the word monkey in the second row. Now, following the same pattern, give answer to the second question, which is, On the walls, webs I weave, where insects stick and cannot leave. There is a beautiful table given here with columns and rows. Also, there are different alphabets given. On first row, the alphabets are X, T, Y, A, B, L, S. And on the first column, the alphabets are X, M, M, D, J, L, M, G. The alphabets in the second row are M, O, N, K, E, Y, P. The alphabets in the second column are T, O, R, T, O, I, S, E. In the third row, the alphabets are M, R, Q, N, X, A, I. In the third column, we have Y, N, Q, F, W, B, N, F. The alphabets in the fourth row are D, T, F, R, O, G, D. The alphabets in the fourth column are A, K, N, R, L, C, A, Q. In the fifth row we have J, O, W, L, E, K, E. On the fifth column, we have B, E, X, O, E, H, I, 
S. In the sixth row, we have L, I, B, C, H, I, R. In the sixth column, we have L, Y, A, G, K, I, L, W. Now coming to the seventh row. M, S, N, A, I, L, N. In the seventh column, we have S, P, I, D, E, R, N, Y. And lastly, in the eighth row, we have G, E, F, Q, S, W, and Y. In this crossword, we have eight rows and seven columns. Now, with the help of given alphabets, you have to find your answer. And after completing your answer, circle the answer. I remain awake the whole night and go to sleep in broad daylight. Croak, croak, croak is my sound. In water or on land, I am found. I appear after rainfall, have no feet, so I crawl. Slow and steady is my pace. I always win when there is a race. Note, riddle number six is based on the story of Panchatantra, the hare and the tortoise. Tell children other stories from the Panchatantra and encourage them to read more of these. Page number 6 Here on page number 6, a beautiful picture of different birds and animals are given, which has been made with the help of thumbprint and fingerprints. For example, body of a parrot has been made with the help of thumbprint and beak has been made with the help of fingerprint and feathers also have been made with the help of fingerprints. By following the same pattern, you can also draw different animals and birds with the help of your thumbprint and fingerprints. Magic with fingers Take a look at the picture. Can you distinguish the thumbprints from the other fingerprints? In the same way, using ink or watercolors, make pictures of animals. Make pictures using your own imagination. Do not copy the ones shown above. You can use the pictures you have made to decorate your school and home. Note, children like to do creative activities such as making pictures with fingers and thumbprints. Encourage them to make their own designs. Page 7 Let us have some fun. In your notebook, draw a picture of an animal that you have seen. Make groups of three children each. Each group will take a white paper. One, in each group, one child will draw the face and neck of an animal at the top of the paper and hide it by folding this part. Second, the second child will draw the body of another animal in the center of the paper and hide it by folding the paper. Third, the third child will draw the feet of yet another animal. 4. Now, unfold the paper and look at the picture. Does it not look like a funny animal? Also, look at the pictures made by your friends. Note, encourage children to look carefully at animals and make pictures on their own. Children may need help when they are making pictures in a group. Page number 8 Spend some time under a tree. 
observe the animals carefully name the animals which can be seen on the branches on the leaves on the trunk on the ground around the tree now arrange these animals in the order of their size smallest being the first there are 15 blank spaces given here write the names of the animals in the order of their size smallest being the first jigsaw puzzle in a jigsaw puzzle a picture is cut in such a way that one has to really think hard to fit the picture together note this activity is a beginning to sequence the sequence will depend on the experience of the child a squirrel can be smaller or bigger than a sparrow discuss issues related to sensitivity towards animals in an interactive manner page 9 now make a jigsaw puzzle using a picture of any animal paste the picture on a cardboard now cut the cardboard along the edges of the picture cut the cardboard into unequal pieces give these pieces to your friends ask them to put the pieces together and identify the animal like there is a picture given here on page number 9 of a peacock for solving jigsaw puzzle note the jigsaw should be cut in such a manner that it is a challenge for the child it should not be so simple that it can be put together too easily encourage more such activities and appreciate their work chapter 1 titled poonam's day out ends here You were just listening to the audiobook Looking Around Textbook in Environmental Studies for class 3 recorded by Butterlang Lingdo and Vikas Sangwan Production assistance by Meenakshi Kukreti produced by Vimlesh Chaudhary presented to you by CIET NCERT New Delhi India